welcome to today's video this is a video where i want to share one two about freezing something that i was skeptical about a few months or years ago but now i have a better understanding of one two and i thought that a lot of us especially kenyans have these myths and uh, stuff in our mind that freezing is not good that frozen food is not good so I want to do this as a master class, okay, because um, there's so much you need to know and having so many seasonal things in Kenya, seasonal vegetables, seasonal fruits, it is very important that you know. Also, this lighting, what is it doing to me? It is giving me this complexion that isn't mine. Anyway, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. I do reviews very honest ones I cook. I do time and money saving videos and closer to my heart. I motivate you to stay healthy and active because it is not always about the body. Let's move the kitamba. It's a little bit, little bit nasty looking. <laughs> now that the kitamba is gone, I want to tell you one too about all this. What you need to know about freezing food. And in this case, I measure in uh, fresh fruits and vegetables because that is my thing. I don't keep any cooked food. So this is what I was telling you. Uh, there are so many myths about uh, freezing food, especially living in this part of the world where we will be like, but we have a lot of fresh fruits, we have a lot of uh, good seasonal things, which for sure you can always feed on, but what happens to the exotic uh, deals that you get and you want to store or such. Also, Farmers in Kenya have started having this thing about money, you know, it's about money and then the controls are zero by the government, yeah, excuse me, I said that, and so in terms of the pesticides control and such, it's, there's a whole grey area, there's a whole grey area on the pesticides being used and the practice of making growing whatever that is being grown. So eventually we end up growing or eating or purchasing things that are not standard. So what happens to that thing that is not seasonal? What happens to the good deal that you get? What happens to your harvesting that you get in plenty and you're thinking that you can keep a few for the rainy day? Just like many of you a while back, I was relying on the upper uh, freezer, your fridge, and it has been working great it has been working great but it is always full why full remember i don't keep cooked food If I can keep the ingredients then i can make my food whenever that i need to make the food and not keep cooked mbosho for one week cooked ndengu for i don't know one month there's nothing wrong with that in case you're wondering but it is not my style of doing things again i find that when i do like kidogo kidogo cooking food gets eaten all of it and i don't have to deal with a lot of leftovers situation so let's talk about this because this is what you came here for did i tell you about my name yeah, my name is Rachel. I do reviews very honest ones. I cook. I do time and money saving videos and closer to my heart. I motivate you to stay healthy and active because it is not always about the body. Frozen food does not require preservatives. A lot of it does not require preservatives. And in this case, my reference is vegetables and fruits unless um, you're doing something else. Okay. It doesn't require preservatives because the low um, temperatures in the chillers or the freezers can't allow microorganisms to grow. For fruit and vegetables, it can go to 9 degrees. And then for meat, you should be aiming for anything under negative 18 degrees. Because the lower, the better when you're talking about frozen food. Frozen fruits and vegetables could be, mark the word, could be more nutritious than uh, fresh food because when they are picked of course they are picked at their prime and then they are they are processed and then they are packaged and frozen cleaned or chopped and frozen so that is different 
and like uh, the fresh whereby you pick and you keep in your counters or in your whatever to use slowly by slowly by slowly when you are using for like a week the nutrient load is going down every single minute every single day so I think one of the mistakes that we do I know you do it you don't want to admit is before you throw something in the freezer or the fridge you use it first and then you realize that you're not going to use finish going through it before it goes bad and then what happens in the fridge and freezer in Kenya 98% of the people keep leftovers that is why you keep for a month and then you keep on throwing and you gawa you thaw you gawa and then food poison mounts and then this one day you cook it and everybody is complaining of some stomach pain and you go freezing of food is bad this is what you need to do when you come from the village or you get this uh, stash that you think you're going to go through but your family can't finish it gawa some you you would rather remove something from the freezer and use it and like uh, dump something that hasn't been in the freezer in the name of let it not go bad so estimate how much you're going to be using for that time that you expect to use it and then throw every other thing in the freezer everything after being harvested in two days it's the prime for it to be kept in the freezer to maintain the nutritional value and remember this has to be fruits and vegetables about cooked foods you will have to look for that elsewhere most of the frozen food when preserved at its peak that is two days after harvesting it can be taken within six to one year uh, this is assuming that the packaging was perfect the freezing has been okay and that the freezing has not been affected by power and maybe you are like what happens when you lose power if you are living in a place where there is no backup generator and power goes one two three days what I know is the more the freezer is full, the better it is going to serve you. So if it is full, it is going to keep your food intact for 48 hours after power. That is assuming that no door will be opened and closed all the time. So that tells you even in other circumstances, opening and closing of your fridge and freezer affects the power. Okay, so just let it op get opened once let it be opened once let people who are there pick whatever that they want to pick and get it closed because the more you open and close the more you lose power otherwise if it is a small freezer and has one two three items then 24 hours is the estimated time that whatever is there is going to stay fresh well insulated freezers will also make it better for you remember the larger it is the better and you can always put a bag of ice to you know to to in the trays to try and maintain the the cold level it's a way of helping the freezer keep cool with whatever that is in there so you can always purchase some ice bags and yeah put them just to reinforce when you choose to freeze freeze in batches of how much you're going to cook okay this is another thing where we don't care about what happens you pick you cook your 2 kgs dengue and throw all of it in a big container you put in the freezer. So when you want to cook what you do, you throw it, all of it. I have seen folks who use hammer to just hack it down or some hacks. So why would you do that? Pick some smaller fr uh, freezer bags or some uh, containers you know how much you cook for your family and do the portions right this is also for sausages this is also for also for meats uh, divide in terms of how much you cook so that you can be removing the the whatever at once and then throwing it at once and cooking if you have leftovers of whatever that you thawed and cooked then let it be consumed within two days my rule is immediately if it remains that is the amount that is going to be eaten together with whatever else that is going to be cooked because that way you don't lose food that way you don't deal with um fluctuating nutrition and possible microorganism growing remember this food was frozen now it's uh, thawed and cooked and now it is being kept in the fridge for fruits you need to store them when they are ripe okay don't put your unripe fruits in the freezer because 
you will stop the ripening all right so let them be at their peak when you're cleaning them when you're storing them so clean them nicely and then store them if you need to chop them like the apples you can chop them chop them nicely you can put in a tray so that you freeze the tray first and then you can you can put you can put that in your freezer bag that way they separate they are separated so it is very easy to remove two three chunks of a fruit and then you throw in for your smoothie and like when everything is mashed up together because you threw them together i find that um, blueberries and grapes they really don't give me trouble i just freeze them nicely because actually that is what i store uh, the berries and then vegetables especially vegetables that i don't have around or if they are around then i get a better deal elsewhere so keep in a tray and then transfer when they are dry alternatively uh, for those for those who are storing uh, vegetables like spinach and all that blanch them before you do for the capsicum you can chop them before you do and blanching is dipping them chopping them clean chop put in some hot water for a minute and then in ice water for the blanched vegetables I like kunde that is what I do and I use kunde from the farm not just any kunde because it doesn't make sense for you to run to githurai nunua kunde gunia moja and come put in the freezer but if you don't have a farm if you don't have a place to get the seasonal things then you can always tengemea the markets around because yeah the food in the market is seasonal and it is better maybe you go early in the morning i only blanch kunde it's been a minute but now that it's raining finally i can just have a few bags here and there you're not keeping and waiting for the year to end some covid to happen so that you can eat no it is food that you're going to be keeping so that in the process of seeing what's going on what you're going to be getting next you have something to just grab and eat for the herbs you can yeah like blend like i have a uh, mint that i have stored in cubes i'll show you that you can dehydrate them i have a dehydrator which i haven't used for any herbs because herbs you can have a market is equal like a bunch is 10 15 bob so and i get them in blend where i stay so i'm like saving the electricity talking about electricity then make sure that you capitalize on anything that is on sale or something that you got for almost free otherwise kplc is a scam it's going to wash you clean so make sure that you check on that to make sure that you don't store something and lose on electricity in the process the freezing bags and the freezing containers need to be need to be airtight most people have the freezers zile zina kuja na fridge so if you are going to buy a freezer, I would really advise if you are going to be shopping for a freezer, please invest in a upright freezer. Why you ask? Because the chest freezers, you just dump things up. If you're not okay with the inventory, the organizing and all that, then you might lose some stuff in the future or find yourself buying things while you have others because you will not always dig down there so if you have a chest freezer then make sure that your game you are organizing very well get the baskets like i see like i see people do organize everything in a way that you know how then get an inventory of what you have all the time but for me chest freezer is a no it will mean that i am yeah, stressed all the time trying to think things trying to when you want to remove this you do this well i don't also think they look good but they help if you have them i'm not talking ill about them i just don't like them and i think a upright freezer would be the thing uh, my freezing situation been open for a while i uh, doing one too that's why you hear it, it misbehaving i hope you can still hear me so i want to show you my whole tell you something about it and we wind up this class because yeah it's a class because after i got whatever that i got i had two people actually two or three people asking me whether it was worth it uh freezer meat uh why would you buy and keep while you have fresh outside there yeah because i know a valid question but do i have the fresh outside there and 
the price is it something i can go for because let me tell you vegetables you don't just need skuma spinach na cabbage na carrot na viazi you need more than that for your good health so you need to eat as many vegetables and fruits as you can exotic or not just get the vegetables variety is key quantity is key so you're not going to be eating uh, skuma and spinach every time you think about vegetables I was talking about why it is exp it is important to look for the plants that you're going to be using this is the bunch apredi bar yeah it's a Italian brand you can check on them so it is second hand and it had nothing when before I went shopping for this open in Yamaze it has two doors fan or whatever whatever thing that is where you're not supposed to touch so I have set it at the lowest which is Sai Meshuka should be at zero degrees or going to the negative and this is what I got so call me crazy I am okay with it I have this friend that I used to work with and she called me and said Rachel I have the best deal for you I was like what Kafo is going to be clearing some vegetables for a hundred bob I know they are not going to last there so I'm willing to I'm willing to give you a few so are you ready we meet I know the company that she works for and I grabbed my points and headed over to uh, somewhere where we were supposed to be meeting so I meet her and she has these good deals so I got a variety of everything so I want to show you overall and yeah we wind up this video so uh, there is this, maybe you can get a few. Brussels sprouts being my best. I'm glad I picked as many as I could. This broccoli soup, oh my goodness. Just put it in the slow cooker yesterday, yesterday night. Some butter, some black pepper, and some, uh, what is it called? Garlic and onion powder. So, so good. This is the mixture that you need in your lives. 50 Kenya shillings and all these you are seeing there didn't cost me 3k it cost me like 2400 or something because i think were 30 no 3000 yeah 2000 and something and i am so grateful to have going to carry four garden city to pick something and i tell a friend i have bought something that i understand is being taken to carry four for clearance do you mind hakaniambia well i don't have a space in my freezer so I think I can get a bag or two going there. They were selling for this amount. You won't believe it. She was like, wait, how much did you say you bought them for? I tell her she didn't believe me and that is the story. I got the, these, these legumes. This is a mixture of uh, gorgets, celery, na carrots. Okay, so it is very nice for stir fried rice. I have used a bag or two to make tuna rice, very yummy. I have used that mushroom. The only thing that I should not have picked is this mushroom, this brown mushroom. Well. I'm not regretting because it tastes bad or anything. I am regretting because the moment you like do it, it remains nothing. Like me, half. So the last thing that I got 
is the thing that you'll be like, ah, oh, you shouldn't have bought that, you shouldn't have bought that. Okay, I have kiddos to impress very soon, holidays in a Caribbean, and I was like, let me get this. Okay, one, they have put chemicals or whatever, and they taste good. I've already tried waru, I don't deal, I don't like it. So when these things are this way, then I can just rarua, thaw, and deep fry, oven dry, do whatever, especially for the oven, they cook so well. These ones, they can count as they eat. These ones are for the older, older kiddos. Listen, you are like, you should have, you could have get, gotten that deal as well. Remember, this was priced by Carrefour to go for 99 bob. I got a deal of every bag at 50 bob. Widening the video here, I am a vegetable person all time, all around. Soup, all those good things. And I'm so glad to have that. Get the research you need and know what to store and how to store it okay don't go with the meals and all that and lose on the important part so glad that i could get those in good time and store them and even have a place to store them because my uh, kitchen kind of freezer is always full and i am grateful to have the space and the amount to pay the power and sana sana the thing to store that is my crazy purchase. That is my crazy buy. What do you think about it? Are you thinking that I wasted money? Uh, let me know what you think because it is important. Also, if you do freeze, especially fresh fruit and vegetables, well, even everything because there could be a viewer who is freezing food and they want to know one, two, or there is this tip that no one knows. Share it in the comment section and someone might benefit from it, all right? Thank you so much for the hangout. I hope you learned a thing or two in this masterclass. My name is Rachel. In case you forgot, I'll see you real soon. The new one. Go ahead.